Okay, we went ahead and we put uh, another air freshener on this International here. What year is this truck? 2016. It's a 2016. It has a fresh air intake design. And the young lady has let me do it. She's also on it. Can I mention the photo? Uh -huh. And she's also on the fire department. So uh, I'm going to have her. We're going to close the hood and then start the engine. And then uh, I'll find out from her in about two or three minutes if it comes all inside her truck. Thank you. Just go ahead and close that hood there. Wait a bit. Okay. Whoa. Okay, go ahead and fire your truck up and turn the fans on. Now your fresh air intake should be automatically on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and fire it up. Give it about two or three minutes, turn your fans on high. The problem that they got with these trucks, all right, International Volvo and all of them, that fresh air intake design, anything goes wrong with the gaskets on these engines, the seals or anything, you can come right up through that fresh air intake design because the fresh air intake is underneath the hood of the truck. The other thing is that filter that's in this firewall there did not stop that. Okay, that that, that filter's only designed. Really? Right. Well, we can take it back out from underneath no, no, the hood. No, no, no. I'd rather take it out of there, though, but I'll give it to you to put inside oh, because okay. I just... But you can smell it the way that it is. But uh, if you would, check into that website that we're talking about. There's been a lot of accidents. There's been a lot of... It's on the other side there on the yeah. website. But uh, it's okay to put this on the website to show that we did that test with this. By the way, that's my wife's name. Oh, wow. Thank you. But I'm glad that you let me do that for you. And this is a 2016. And you can smell that already in the truck. Yep. Actually, I'm on my way to the terminal to get my regular tag so my pins get ready to fire. Oh, okay. But now do you understand why some of these drivers possibly have been falling or falling asleep behind the wheel and everything else? Yes, I mean, last year we had three or four die in the truck. See, and it's all fun. Here they were. Whatever. All I got to do is, so the next time if you're involved, will you have to go in and get somebody out of a truck? That's something you might want to bring to the fire department, you know, fire department's attention. The second if there's a fresh air intake design on you that hood of that truck. That's the stupidest thing they ever come up with. Yeah. And it's been out there since 97 when they first came out with the engine. But they're finding drivers dead in the trucks, died 40 or 50 years of age of natural causes and heart attacks. All of heart attacks. Were they in their 40s and 50s? Okay, but uh, I won't blame it on that, but I'm just saying it's just something to think about. All right, but if you ever start smelling fumes in the truck, like the EGR or anything like that, I carry a CO reader with me, which turns around and starts reading at zero. I was getting 25 foot parts per million in the other truck I was in, and myself and another driver got sick from it. But uh, there's a lot to that website, so if you want to share it, if you would, you're my pick. I give you a bunch of cards. Yeah. But, 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 but like I said, this is a safety issue. Right. Okay. But I'm glad that you you let me do that. But I'll take that out real quick. You know what I'm going to do? Huh. Um, Walmart, you can't see them. It won't work. Please watch the video. No. The ones that we use, okay, if you watch the website, there's a video I did on the three different uh, carbon monoxide. The one that I use starts at zero. The other ones won't go off to 30 parts per million or better. Okay, and then it's too late because you're in a small area for so many hours breathing in CO. But you're, if you're getting CO levels, it's not just the CO, it's the other toxins behind it. That, that's a sign that you got to leak. Okay, and it all comes up in that fresh air intake design. But like I said, that filter doesn't stop anything. But well, once again, thank you. I'm going to unhook the hood real quick. I'll give you that air pressure so you can keep it with you. All right.